Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. Today we're going to be looking at various different forms of scale model seat belts which you may want to use. Um, now these are all using examples of road cars, however um, other vehicles such as planes uh, also do have harnesses so some of the techniques here might be applicable to those as well. Please click subscribe and the bell button to stay notified. So firstly, we're going to look at ones that often uh, come with kits. So these are uh, decal seat belts, as you can see here. These were intended for the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 rally car. I didn't use them, which is why you can still see them on here. They're certainly better than nothing. Um, I'll show you a car where I have used decal seat belts. Um, this is the uh, Tamiya Tyrrell. P34, which I built uh, in 2019. Um, now the driver in this, because um, I've not glued it all down, Patrick Depaye, um, does actually have moulded seat belts on the figure, which are quite nice. Um, but it also came with um, seat belt decals. Uh, these are 120 scale, um, and I uh, have put them in there under the seat uh, so that uh, if he isn't in there, you can see them underneath. I am of the opinion that decal seat belts are certainly better than no seat belts at all. So um, if you um, if you are going to go uh, down that route and you don't have any of the aftermarket products that I show you in a bit, then certainly these are better than nothing. Okay. Alternatively, what some people do with the decals is that uh, rather than sticking them, they actually uh, cut them out individually and put them into place um, as that uh, gives them more of a kind of raised 3D effect. Um, because obviously, as you saw with the Tyrrell, just using the decals does make them look rather flat. Um, as I say, though, using these definitely better than nothing. And um, yeah, I've, I've got quite a few left over now. Right, the next one we'll look at is molded seat belts. Now this is the uh, Revell Ferrari F50, um, and I have chosen not to glue the roof into place um, so that you can have a nice look inside. So these came with two molded lap belts, as you can see there on the seats. They're pretty much exact mirror images of each other. And I did that just with a little bit of, um, of matte black and some um, Molotow Chrome, which looks quite nice. And um, these are these are fine, um, to be honest. Uh, you just need to make sure that you use the right the right kind of kind of paint. Um, and if I put the lid back on, the roof back on, I should say, you can you can still kind of see them through the windows. But yeah, some people might be happy with these. Um, not all molded seat belts look as good as others. And like I said before, the right paint is really really important. Now, one of the other things you will need if uh, you are going to make your own seat belts is photo etch. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I've had some people ask me uh, where I've got mine, so I'll talk to you a little bit about that. Um, this one here first is uh, just a, a 124 um, a seat belt buckle set from ABBA, um, and uh, it even gives you um, some instructions in there about how you can use it to make a uh, five or six point harness. Um, these are a little narrow, so I've struggled in the past to get some of the materials through this. Um, alternatively, um, Tamiya do some. So for instance, uh, this is uh, one of their uh, detail kits for um, 120 uh, seat belts. And you can see there, it's got all of those buckles. This one also came with this Bridgestone uh, stencil. And it's quite nice because comes with various different colors. These are stickers, um, so I, I don't know if they're pre-cut or whether you need to use scissors, but I'll look up that when I use it. And it also comes with some decals for different brands on the other side. Um, I'll be using the black ones from this in uh, one of the uh, Senna McLaren builds, which I've got, and then I'll have some more left over as well. Um, so there's that. Also this uh, wing set from Tamiya, um, came with some um, seatbelt buckles as you can see here and this I believe also comes with um, some material. This is a really nice set actually, it's got three different sets of wings. Um, 
and it also comes with this strange kind of vinyl-y film which is to make seat belts from um, as well as instructions for how to thread them and as you can see here um, uh, decals as well including those sabelt ones there um, really nice set actually and um, finally sometimes uh, kits nowadays do actually come with photo etch so for instance this is the uh, Jaguar XJS touring car from Hasegawa and quite a few of these modern Hasegawa kits um, come with photo etch parts um, you can see it in there this one also comes with um, some kind of material to use for the seat belts lots of buckles in there um, which is really useful um, so yeah now we've looked there at some of the materials which are designed for car seat belts. Now we'll have a look at some more sort of homemade methods. Now you might recognize that this is the uh, Renault R23, which I built earlier this year. And um, for this, for these seat belts, I've used this sticky back vinyl. Now I bought this from an Etsy uh, seller um, and it has actually been pre-cut into um, strips like that. Um, it came with um, four different colours, red, blue, green and black. Um, I've not used the green one at all, I've used um, the black one almost in its entirety. Um, and it also came with a variety of um, seatbelt brand decals which are really useful. Um, so yeah, some pros of, of this one is that um, you can cut it to any length, um, it uh, easily passes through the photo etch. It's sticky, which means the photo etch doesn't fall off. And also you can put it into place really easily because it's plasticky. The decals stick to it. So that's also nice. Um, one of the downsides I'd say to it, though, is that um, I, do, I think it's too a bit too glossy for uh, realistic looking seatbelts. But this stuff is really, really versatile. Um, and I'm, I'm quite happy uh, with how that looks in there you can see so one of the next uh, seatbelt uh, alternatives I tried I did on this Cobra which you might recognize uh, which I did earlier um, which was um, this uh, ribbon um, there's some black and some blue here I used black on here um, so uh, pros to this is that it looks realistic it looks a lot like real seatbelts it's got the right kind of semi gloss satin um, effect it can be cut to any length um, it's quite thin it's lightweight it's also really cheap uh, found this on eBay but obviously you can go to a, a haberdashers or something like that to get something like this um, some cons I find it frays very easily I found it very difficult to pass through the photo etch buckles which is a shame um, and um, also the decals uh, don't stick to it without a little bit of help um, so I actually used the uh, backing paper and uh, glued, it, glued them on instead. Um, but still, I think these look pretty good. Um, and also, they're really good if you just want to do like a simple seatbelt in a car. Um, I think I used this on the, um, on the Skyline build. So yeah, that's another uh, alternative. This is a bit of a preview of what I'm doing at the moment. So this is from the uh, Revell F40. Um, and this one did come with molded seat belts. However, um, I decided instead to use um, this material. Now, this is like it's like a sort of velour, I think, which is like, you know, um, some simulation uh, velvet and it's sticky back, which means just like the uh, sticky back vinyl, it can be cut to whatever length it uh, can be uh, sized properly. Um, I've also used some photo etch buckles with this. Um, it was really easy to use, um, with the exception of the fact that just like the ribbon, uh, the decals didn't want to stick to it. So instead, these have still got the backing paper and they're super glued in place. Um, but I'm really pleased with how this looks. And I've got some black as well as the red, um, which I hope to use in the future. So this is how I've put together these seat belts for the F40. Firstly, I've used the buckles from the wing set, but I chose not to use the um, material and instead to use this sticky back velour. 
I cut out a strip about two millimeters wide um, and for the lap belt I simply put over one of the large circular buckles and then covered up the lap belt. This is cheating but to be honest you won't be able to see this very much with the cockpit um, enclosed so I was happy with this. As it's sticky back it stuck into place very nicely and the buckle stayed in place without the need for even any glue. For the shoulder belts again I used a two millimeter wide strip. I then used a blade to very carefully remove the buckles and um, my very small um, jeweler's tweezers are useful to get the parts in place. I removed some but not all of the backing for the tape so that I, it doesn't get stuck to my finger and because this is cut quite sharply it means that it threads through really nicely. After pulling through the buckle I give it a compare to the one that I've already done and the moulded seat belt to make sure that it's in the right place. I also need to make sure that I have enough length at the end to fold it over the uh, seat belt plug. As this material has a sticky back, once you pull the buckle into the right place, it stays in position without the need for any glue. And there the plug from the seat belt is attached as well. This seat already has the holes for the seat belts, so I thread it through and then simply press down the belt. Uh, over the moulded one. Sometimes people sand away moulded seat belts like this but this seat had a texture to it and I felt that I would end up sanding that away. I then put one of the clips onto the back which would then secure it into the cockpit and then simply fold it over. This is really easy. Uh, apart from the fact that the decals don't stick to it, I'm really pleased with this material. Um, I bought it from Amazon, but uh, I do recommend looking out for it. So there we are, a few different um, methods for um, doing seat belts in a few different cars. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these, uh, which one you would do. Um, in the future and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll see you soon